Hello ladies and gents, I am the Rev and this is Abandoned Ship. Yes, it is fully out of early access, came out about a month or so ago and it's part of the Steam Autumn Sale, so it's currently $19.99, normally $24.99 and since I did the first part of the game previously when it was in early access, we're going to start this from right after we beat the Kraken and we'll go forward from there so we can see all the game elements, everything up to that point is going to be repeated so i can show you guys all the new content that they've added with the full game release but a few other things to keep in mind so we've got the main campaign you have uh free play the cult campaign we experience the story of a devout cultist haunted seas they put this out oh a year and a two years ago during halloween something like that and then we have a straight combat campaign now if you happen to look into their notes you'll see that the combat campaign and is getting a major update there's going to be a second um combat campaign where they're going to be changing things around a little bit and that's the uh, major release they're going to be thrown out but what we're going to do is the main campaign so we're going to pick up like i said right after we've beaten the kraken and I'll explain things from there. So hold on one second. Let's get to it. And as always, folks, it's up to you guys whether we keep playing this or not. Smash that like button. And we'll see how far we get that. Or if I happen to lose my ship and everything, uh, we'll probably be done. So one of the two. Alrighty, folks. So here we are. We're at landfall right here. Any place you see the red skull, that means that there are factions. And one of the big things they added, which kind of shut me down when it came to taking these things out, are these coastal defenses. You kind of got to dodge them until you get the right weapon to use them. So, hopefully something like that will show up here. But, here we are. And now we just need to basically work our way to here where we will then be able to uh get the quest going because i think uh let's look at the log yeah thwart their cold so after we uh, complete the majority of our sub quests here we just go on the offensive against the cult basically i'll show you guys what to do it's easier to uh, show you guys but since we do have this one, I never, I don't think I ever explored. We're going to go down and do that real quick. Because, yeah, I haven't been there yet. Okay, and one of the new things they added are, of course, lighthouses. So if you make a beeline over there... If it has a lighthouse, makes things a lot easier. Ba -bom. Now we've got everything open to us. It looks like we've got a pirate down here blocking this trade route. Got some cash. So we can either leave the people or help them. Let's help them. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I don't think that's good. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. So now, let's see. That's a negative trait. Always feel brace tests. E oh, 
Okay, so that means I'm gonna go constantly over water, overboard, if we don't get that taken care of. Of course, we'll get that taken care of. Oh, jeez, now another one. See, uh, this is the part of the game I don't like. I will have runs where it's just bad luck upon bad luck. I mean, come on. Okay. Dude, what is this noise? This is new. Uh. Oh, no. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Let's get some combat going with a, a guy short, I guess. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to close... Well, looks like I'm going to have uh, some issues here. But what we'll do is we'll start by sitting our mortar there. This guy's going to have to come over here, and then this will be aimed there. And that's the Berserk gun. So let's see how we do. Closing the buttons here. There we go. See that berserk gun? See how they went? They should be going crazy. Ooh. Fire. Well, it looks like that one's going crazy again. Not a little bit, just enough. One more, one more round into it. That's it. All right, let's see what this guy's got for us. Ooh, nice. We'll take that. And if I remember correctly. Oh, there it is. Now, one of the other things that they uh, added to this that wasn't there before was... Uh, Everything respawns, so you can go back over areas you've already been in if you want to uh, farm and build up your stuff. All right. Pair all. So we got Tackler, change that. Those two are the normal ones. Then we have, of course, the Lightning Gun. That's basically just stuns them. Bar shot. Oh. And that's for shooting down your sails. This basically knocks people down. Uh, more chain stuff, and let's see what we got in here. We got our sniper rifle and a lightning gun, an acid bomb. Now down here we're rolling the uh, ship smasher because it creates a single hole crack and causes a brace for impact test. So in theory, that should um, you'll see uh, the little exclamation marks above their head and they freeze. Hopefully, and then. We're setting everything on fire so we can um the way these two work in tandem is basically once you fire the ship smasher then the fire cluster bomb you drop on top of that so it sets everybody on fire or you can drop the acid on top of that Maybe we should try that first. yeah acid bomb I think we got just the regular cannons up front, and then 
uh, like I said, the Berserk Dart Gun and the Web Gun. And now we're working towards um, a bigger, better ship. You can see there's a 10% increase, so we probably don't want to buy a whole lot here. And our performance. So anything appropriate are things that I've already brought up. So deck reinforcement on um, our steering. I need to put another one over here uh, for the guns. And then, of course, our mast. And then performance enhancing. And then we've got our ship, right? And I think I'm currently running the Corvette. Maybe. Of course, we can go all all the way up to eight. So the next ship would be a warship, 1650 or 2200. Of course, take 10% off of that. And that's just so those are the first one that we can, uh, with the maximum crew of eight, the more people you have, the better. Fast travel. If you have, it looks like 50 is most of them. Yeah, you got to have 50 and you can do fast travel. And over here um, in the port, you can see we got our guy that's jacked up. Uh, if you go in the apothecary. We can remove uh, whatever issues he has. But before you do that, head over to Explorer's Guild. And either once you've cleared uh, the fog of war map or you find the light house you can get 150 here we're the apothecary okay so ooh, he's badly hurt so we're going to want to revive him he's just a fighter so yeah i mean he's gotten good with the uh, A reload speed, but mm. there we go. Keeping cap, killing is the best because that's basically us. We don't want to get him killed, but yeah. So now we've got uh, bills, the break, and we're going to be running into brace stuff all the time. I should probably remove that. Oh, there goes all my money. Okay, I don't usually like traveling with a whole lot of fish. Just enough for one passage. Let's see. Harpoons, that brings your ship closer together. Uh, you want the advanced crow's nest because you can see further and see the health of the people you're fighting. Automatic um, water pumps, so you don't have to worry about it. You always want a rowboat, lifeboat, just in case. And then one of the reasons I was using ram is the heavy hole spikes. Now, sometimes you might want to capture them. Sometimes you don't. And the other thing here, if you are down a person and you don't have a lot of cash, you can go into prison. Now, none of these guys can be promoted. And they all have issues. So sooner or later, you're just going to wind up to um, drop them, getting rid of them. But a bunch more of the weird little traits they may have. So, and the best thing about this is down here, we don't have to worry about the cracking coming after us anymore. Uh, it appears to be empty. No, oh, God, this is always, man, this is always, these are the things that you never know, because I see them, I've seen them good and bad come out of both. Ooh, we lucked out there. So this is the coastal that I was talking about. And you can engage the sea fort. You can see you have to disable the mega mortar by destroying all forces uh stone sections uh the fort will surrender but you only have to do that if you are going to try and fight them so what we're gonna do we're gonna head down here and we 
Now we got our crew full. We're going to get us a pirate. In this vile extortion. Alright, first things first, we'll want to close and then we will want to start hitting the medics with the, the cuckoo ray. And we want to hit the guy that, uh, anybody that's near one of these cannons. The problem is, is I don't know if those are mortars or not. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. Oh, so, put our, that mortar there. Boy, these guys are super spread out. Uh, Stay right here until I'm ready. Oh no! We'll run our guy over here. Yeah, I got, got their medic. Okay. Let's see. This point. I'm going to have this guy keep him pinned. Let's go on this side. Actually, these guys are almost dead. We want these on this side here. We don't want them to get away from us. Woo! Okay. Now we'll get close enough here. Ooh. Oh well. We killed it. We opened up the range. That's all that was important. Ooh, there we go. One level decreased, which always happens. So if you're doing shady stuff and you feel like robbing somebody. Nice. There we are now. We just got a few more things here to go. 
But again, we don't have to worry about... a whole lot. Now, one thing you did notice you guys did see me do was the way I had all these guys set up. So once you get people where you want them, you hit save the position. So if you're doing other things and you need to come back, you're good. You won't have any problems. So we're down here and we need to make our way all the way here. So, in the next episode, we will be in Greenpool. I'm going to work my way over there, doing exactly what you guys just saw me do. And, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get me a new ship. I got a lot of work to do before that happens. But, we're really going to want to um, start really pumping up our people and our ships here. Because, all of this now is open. So, we've got the Uncharted... Perils Cauldron, Shattered Empire, Cannibals Lurk, Spider Islands, The Wild Sea, Forsaken Sea, Land's End, The Cold Sea, which I think we will have to go to um, to get a certain type of uh, thing to put on our ship so we can break through the ice. And then, then I think we go up here to the Frozen Waste. I'm not sure if they changed the story at all. So that's kind of one of the first few episodes here. I'm going to fast forward you guys through um, the first part of the game. Because again, I already went extensively through it. I've done live streams on it. I will put links in the description below so you guys can see or go on to that quest line. If you want to see the very first part, basically what you just saw me do in this video, you do that whole time except the Kraken's after you and you have to fight it off. So again, it's up to you guys. Whilst I am going to keep working my way around here, see about making as much money as possible. Please. If you haven't already, let me know down in the comments how far you guys want to see with this. You guys want to see a full playthrough? Are you going to pick it up and play it yourself? Ooh, ooh, what do we get? We can get another 40 for only 20. Oh, yeah, because we... we uh, oh, I declined it. Whoops. <laughs> That was okay. I've gotten a lot better deals before. And when you're fighting the Kraken and it's chasing you, all you have to do is beat whatever the cult event is, and it usually will set reset your timer. Anyways, folks, please hit that subscribe button. If you really want to help the channel out, there are multiple ways down in the description you can do it, from Patreon to uh, joining the channel itself as one of the uh, paid subscribers. And of course, if you do that, you get extra access to me, especially with Patreon. You guys can talk to me a lot more. I, anytime you put a question into the comment section, I make sure I answer those first, no matter what. So please, keep your heads down. Your ships of doom up. And I, my band of merry men, will see you again real damn soon.